Now, many of you already know that one of the things that NEO is using to get to profitability is obviously building some of the things that they used to buy outside from other companies or third parties to build their cars. They are now building them in-house, like chips, semiconductors, right? I mean, the massive breakthrough that when you talk about NEO, uh, you cannot ignore is obviously the uh, autonomous driving chip, Shenji NX9031 chip, which NEO developed themselves in-house, design and develop. That chip, one of those chips, save NEO around $1,300. And knowing that all the models that are coming under the NEO main brand are using that chip, you and me can agree that it slides out, right? Because the, the, the gross margins or vehicle margins get to be so boosted by just that. And the good thing is that NEO is not ending there, but they are also taking it to the next level where very soon they will also develop autonomous driving chip for, for Onvo. Onvo is still using NVIDIA chip. Uh, you will know that NVIDIA chip has, were also being used by the 2024 NEO models. The ET9 was the first model to use the in-house build autonomous driving chip, which by the way, it uses two of those. And this shows you that what we are seeing this year is nothing like we have seen in the past. Now, NEO CEO, if you remember very well, I think it was 2021, he made a statement to say that, look, if they ever want their gross margin to go over 20%, they need to build chips in-house and batteries. Now, the progress for NEO when it comes to developing their own battery, it's, it's at a place or at a point where already by end of this year, NEO would have produced or jointly produced their own batteries together, I think with CATL, which is absolutely great. And therefore, it means that NEO's plans, of course, of building chips and batteries would have come to pass. Yes, they are still jointly building these batteries with CATL, but they are have also partnered with another company there that will help them build these batteries for their cars, which is absolutely great, something that is exciting. Me, I'm happy, man. Me, I'm excited because I know one thing, and that is Blue Sky is coming. The reason why I'm giving you this background is because, look, man, they will just, as soon on the screen, this is the table of the battery energy density of some of the representative models. Of, I mean, density basically means that uh, it helps in storing the amount of energy uh, per cell of the, of the battery, right? And knowing that, of course, how much energy can a battery store uh, per unit mass or volume? And knowing that in terms of energy storage, L90's battery, a store of energy, it is something that is just so great, right? Because look, you will notice that the energy storage is around 193. And of course, in kilogram, you've got like, uh, I think this is what our per kg, right? It's 100, 193 watt hour per kg. And in terms of the actual weight of the battery itself, it's around 440 kg. And the size is 85 kilowatt hour. The second one is the NEO ES8. NEO ES8 stores around or can store energy of around 187. The weight of the battery is 545 and the pack size is 102 uh, kilowatt hour. Then you've got uh, Wengi M9, 186, 525 and 98. XPeng X9, 173, 588 and 102 kilowatt hour is the battery. And you've got a Leoro Ideal i8 which is 170 and 173 energy storage and uh, which has 173 energy storage capacity and of course the 16 uh, 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 the kgc 679 and uh, of course it is the 97 kilowatt hour now if you go at the bottom of the food chain you've got to buy byu henl it is uh, having a um, Energy storage capacity of around 129 with a total weight of 640 and 83. Uh, it's an 83 kilowatt hour battery. Tesla Model Y is somewhere there, 165, 480 kg and a kilowatt hour is 60. So, Xiaomi also is on the bottom last two, which means that their batteries are not 
that much in terms of say or don't save that much of energy in terms of uh, uh, compared to that one of uh, of onvo seeing onvo neo being at the top of this list i must say it's a pretty good thing uh, it's so refreshing to know that neo look whenever when it comes to technology whether being it their batteries being it or the the, the software being it the hardware that you find on the car they always want to make sure that they take it to the next level which is obviously great something that of course it always makes me to to like uh, uh, which is something that obviously makes us to want to uh, which is something that always draws us to neo uh, the most which is uh, and it's it's amazing right so yeah man my dear friends me i'm happy me i'm excited blue sky is coming long term will win those persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. Look, man, me, I like what I see. Neo continues to do very well. And it is for this reason that I continue ignoring the naysayers, the short sellers, because some of them, even though they see the big, the bigger picture, they see the blue sky that is coming the end of, at, at the end of the, the light, at the end of the tunnel, they still decide to ignore and try to think that the Neo we are seeing is still the same Neo that we saw two, three, even a couple of months ago but anyways let me leave this video here i remain long i remain strong on to neo because i know one thing and that is blue blue sky is indeed coming like share subscribe hit that notification bell i will see you on the next one my dear friends that is all from me and god bless you all mm -hmm.